are these many baby steps that are currently undertaken by all sorts of organizations, all sorts, all sorts of countries, really lead to a qualitative change in Eastern Europe? Um, or are they a mere destruct destruction at the end of the day that basically sort of cover the time until we will have the, new, the, the next new major escalation? The Kremlin is not prepared to accept any restriction to its military might and ambitions. How much space is there for serious negotiations with binding outcomes when Russia's rulers seem to have chosen military strength as the overriding guiding principle for both their domestic and foreign policies. They don't want to conquer Europe, but they want to kind of have it as a, a political appendix, that Russia with its mighty military being a nuclear superpower would provide Europe that can't defend itself, will replace the United States, basically. United States out and Russia takes the role of the United States, providing Europe with a nuclear shield, sort of. And get the benefits uh, that Russia wants, uh, especially uh, stability for the present elite to rule Russia as it wishes. Well, everybody uh, has a hope that Russia will be behaving responsibly. Uh, that it has got its own limitations, especially economic limitations, uh, but it has a huge military on, on our eastern flank. Uh, and obviously, if Russia does something, it would uh, provoke NATO and provoke uh, NATO action, and, but it would simply mean a war. So uh, at this moment, it is unimaginable, this kind of steps. But in order to avoid this kind of situation, we must be absolutely ready to defend and to deter Russia. How credible is the European defense? Is it credible enough to deter Russia from making some kind of move? We have, as far as I can judge, we have had uh, and still have two parties in, in the Kremlin. One is a party of war. There are people saying, Let's finish that. Let's solve the problem by military means and invade all of Ukraine. We can do it, and of course there will be resistance, but in the final, in the final instance, we can do it without uh, large prob the big problems. And there is the other school of thought, uh, people who uh, assert that uh, uh, a military solution of uh, this Ukrainian questions will be too costly. Russia звучит как угроза для этого пространства. Меня, э, меня это очень расстраивает, как гражданин России прежде всего, потому что я уверена, что российские граждане не собираются быть угрозой. И это не в их интересах совершенно. И э, быть, э, представать всему миру в образе какого-то медведя, э, да, с которым невозможно договориться, это ужасно. Мне очень обидно, что э, вот именно до этого, за э, 17 лет, Довел режим Путина мою страну и моих граждан. Establishing contact in Russian understanding that means going to a sauna together and being corrupt together. That's how Russia believes um, political alliances are built. We all in the European Union understand that what has happened in Ukraine is. Uh, um, intervention of Russia in a sovereign country's business. Uh, we clearly see Russia being an aggressor. Uh, it doesn't happen just that there are, uh, you know, green men uh, using uh, the same um, uh, weapons that the Russian spe special forces tend to use, and, and uh, it doesn't just happen that there are uh, both tanks and, and also personnel uh, who come directly from Russian side. So. It's quite obvious. I think uh, all of uh, us in Europe have understood that and all of us uh, uh, see that there has to be a solution to that conflict. Uh, the sanctions against Russia definitely are a big part of that. Uh, I believe that uh, the sanctions uh, are becoming costly to uh, Kremlin and, and uh, show that the EU uh, keeps its unity and, and keeps uh, on the pressure to to uh, get Ukraine back uh, all of its territory. What we see now uh, that the fact that one country violating uh, international law 
and uh, violating uh, Westphalian system of uh, sovereignty because occupying some part of another sovereign state. Uh, well, that's the same scenario that we had in Croatia. And I do believe that uh, we are facing time that uh, Ukraine will just uh, liberate, I hope, peacefully uh, the occupied area. We have, to, we have to know how to play with Russia. If you dance with Russia, you have to know how to dance with Russia. When people say that uh, Mr. Putin is a great strategist, I disagree. Because what he effectively achieved, we've got um, really great engagement of both NATO and the European Union into Ukrainian reality. It is such strong as, as it was never before. Natürlich, äh, nicht alle in Europa unsere Idee von einem freiheitlichen Gesellschaftsmodell teilen. Und äh, denen sind wir ein Dorn im Auge, weil unser Erfolg äh, für ein autoritäres, für jedes autoritäre System ähm, äh, zeigt, dass es auch ohne Autoritarismus geht und dass es besser geht, dass mehr Wohlstand geschaffen wird und dass die Menschen in Frieden leben können. Und äh, von daher sind die Kräfte, die ähm, ähm, gegen ähm, diesen freiheitlichen Gesellschaftsentwurf sind, ähm, darauf erpicht äh, zu zeigen, ähm, äh, dass äh, diese Freiheit auch bedroht werden kann und äh, um ihren Leuten zu Hause zu sagen, wir sind das bessere Modell. Ne? Und so ein Krieg, der auf dem gegnerischen Territorium stattfindet, der hat geringe Kosten für äh, dieses autoritäre Regime und das ist das, das Regime von Herrn Putin. Ähm, und äh, in Deutschland sind viele Menschen äh, ambiguös, wenn es um Russland geht, äh, was vielleicht mit der Geschichte zusammenhängt. Aber äh, da ist es wichtig, die Fakten oder den Tatsachen ins Auge zu, zu sehen und wir, wir hoffen, dass wir diese Botschaft äh, nach Deutschland transferieren können. What is going to be a next uh, European security Uh, structure or strategy how to deal with Russia, how to deal with other part, Euro-Asia. So uh, I think uh, European politicians should give us as a citizens more answers on many questions. Mm -hmm.